hello hello and welcome to my channel i am kat the nurse flipper i am a full-time reseller on ebay poshmark etsy and facebook marketplace i quit nursing at the end of february so this is my only income every monday i like to show you what i am selling so you kind of know when you're outsourcing what to look for so we had almost 1300 dollars sell over the weekend that is going out on ebay and we have a hundred dollars each on all three of the other platforms so i'm super excited to show you what sold there are a couple really high dollar ones that might catch you off guard so let's go ahead and get started All right, so first up is actually a little Wedgwood, but this isn't the Wedgwood Jasperware that you're probably used to. This one is Wedgwood Strawberries, and this little vase, I paid less than a dollar. I got in a box lot from an online auction, and it sold for $9.94, plus the buyer paid 10 in shipping. It'll probably go a little over a pound once it is packed that is why the shipping is so high and that one's going to be about a seven to eight dollar profit next is a harley davidson pin and there are a lot of them and they actually sold on three of the four platforms so the first one is this harley davidson one here it has the american flag says gen one harley davidson i paid a dollar for all of these if you don't know i bought 600 of them from an online auction i paid right at 600 dollars, so about a dollar each we are getting close to halfway through them being listed and we are selling quite a few every day on multiple platforms. So this one actually sold for $19. So it's gonna be about a $15 profit on this Harley pen and they are super easy to ship. I'm gonna show you guys cause we just, we just got more of these in. So we just put them in a little jewelry box and then we have tiny little padded envelopes that are four by six that fit our labels exactly and that is how we ship the Harley pens out next is another harley pen this one sold for 1949 as well so this one you can see here has the claw so i put baron solid copper which is on the back you can see this is from 1991 so it is vintage and again another 15 dollars profit so these Harley pins are going to net me thousands of dollars in profit. I'm not going to lie to you. When I was bidding on them and it was like four or five hundred dollars, I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but I knew, I knew because I had kind of guesstimated. They did not tell me how many were there. I was thinking like 400. So my thought was even if I went up to $800, I was only $2 in a piece. And I knew I could probably get 10 a piece for them. So it was a really, really good buy. Next is Lily by Fermiana. This actually, this company kind of reminds me of LuLaRoe. They're really like slinky shirts. So this shirt here, I got at a garage sale for a dollar when I was up in Kentucky last year. So it did take about five or six months to sell, but it sold for $15.59. So it's gonna be about a $12 profit. Another Harley pin this one and i think keywords are important here guys so this one i put wheel and spokes this one sold for 16.24 so it's going to be about a 13 dollars profit and i love all these harley pins because they are so so easy to ship my 20 year old daughter has been listing them for me we do front back and then we zoom in so they can see the year for those next is this little baseball bat and this could have cost me some money but it didn't so it actually sold for five dollars i paid a dollar i've had it for over two years two years but usps has a new handling fee if items are over 21 inches which this is so when i saw i could send an offer to a watcher on this bat i said let me go and make sure i put the correct dimensions in and I did not have them in, but because I hadn't sent the offer yet, I was able to change them to the correct dimension. So the buyer is paying $15 in shipping. That will cover it. It will cover that surcharge and we will not have to worry about it. It's going to be about a $3 profit, but I'm glad it's out of my room. Next is another pen I got in the Harley lot, but it is not Harley. This one is Shiner Beer. Let me take it out. Um, Shiner Beer, this one sold for $11.69. There it is. 
and all of these I am not sending them back so I'm putting it in bold in my description of all of my pen listings that there is no back included people can buy replacement ones they can use ones off their other pens I just decided with 600 pens I was not going to go the expense of replacing those back so that one's going to be about a nine dollar profit all of these Harley pens have sold in under two weeks from being listed to their selling very very fast up next is something teeny tiny and I think a lot of people look these over I have sold several I found out about them by getting them in a lot so there's a, a lot of things that I learn by buying lots so when I buy the box lots I research everything that's in it and there are a lot of things that sell for money that I wasn't aware of until I got those lots so this is one of those things this is a teeny tiny little padlock and it does have writing on the back so I could identify. This little itty bitty thing sold for $18 and it sold in two hours. Really, really fast. I will probably ship it the same way I shipped the Harley pens. I paid less than a dollar in an online auction lot and it will be about a $15 profit. Next is the biggest, literally and figuratively, it's the biggest sale of the weekend. Let me show you. This giant bowl giant right 20 inches really cool though i use 2d fruity i use confetti i use art glass free form because this is a really big bowl i am going to use instapack from american bubble boy which is a free forming foam to pack this in a really big box it's pretty much as simple as that so this is not signed and i don't know if it's murano so i just put art glass free form 2d fruity confetti sold for 259 dollars i paid less than 30 in an online auction and the buyer paid 130 in shipping so the insta packs i'm going to use are probably going to be about 15 to 20 dollars but with my ebay discount the buyer should still cover those in that 134 dollars it is probably going to be close to 100 to ship because it's oversized so really really good profit took about five months to sell next is another harley davidson pen so i think again keywords here i put skull i put flaming wings this one sold for 1462 and it is going international so the buyer paid for global shipping i don't know why standard international was not on they paid probably more than they paid for the pen sold for 15 and that's again about a 12 to 13 dollar profit the next harley pen i actually can't find so my daughter had numbered the bags and it wasn't the right pen in there so i'm gonna have to hunt that one or offer that buyer a replacement i at least have tons of harley pens to offer them i might actually have another pen almost exactly like it so i'm going to have to search that next is another amazing sale if you know me you know i love native american this has got the appaloosa horses or the paint spots this one was signed by Rance Hood. Not sure if I can get it in. It's there in the bottom corner. I paid $10. This one sold for $129.35. Plus the buyer paid $12 in shipping. This one is over $100 profit. So don't, don't overlook these. Next is a hanky that sold for almost $20. $19.49 really beautiful and everybody always asks me if i sell these individually i do i i sell all of them individually so this one was priced right at 20 dollars, and i did that because a it has the tag so it says french eval lace all cotton it has beautiful double lacing here it has the flowers so when they're really fancy that's when i go 20 dollars. some of them i do 10 some i do 15 a lot i do 20 like this one here and very, very rarely I will do 25. So that's how I price them, just according to how fancy the design is. Next is this gas monkey hat. Picked it up for $2 at the thrift store. This one sold for $19.49. It's about a $15 profit and it sold in under two months. Hats are another favorite of mine. I love to pick up for a dollar or two and sell them for 15 to 20. They are great bread and butter items to have in your store. It's a Harley kind of month, apparently. Next is this Harley Davidson Space Coast. 
This is a XXL t-shirt. This one actually took about three to four months and the rest of them I found with this one sold in under a month. This one took a little longer. It sold for 17. I paid a dollar at the thrift store. So that one's about a $14 profit. So not all the Harley stuff moves really fast, but as a general rule, if you price it right, it does, it does move pretty fast. Next is another Harley Davidson pen. This one says Harley Davidson Scherf and this one sold for $11.69 so it's going to be about a $9 profit. And then we have some Monster High dolls. I haven't sold any Monster High in a long time. If you don't know these guys are bolos. Watch out for these. This one sold for $10. This one sold for $7 with no clothes. She's naked. Still sold. $20 sale out of $2. So I pick them up whenever I can find them for a dollar a piece. I don't see them very often in my area, but if you see a lot of toys at garage sales, watch out for Monster High. And then this is a really cool vintage throw pillow cover. Really retro, right? This one did have the tag still. And this one sold for $12.99. So $13 for an individual pillowcase. Again, super easy to list, super easy to ship, and that one sold about four months and is about a $10 profit. Next is another Harley pin. So this one is like a gas tank shape. It does say Harley Davidson there. This one sold for $16.24, so this one's about a $13 to $14 profit. Next is something I did sell a lot of because I bought boxes of them from an online auction. Still pick them up when I see them in thrift stores. So I sold six. These are Disney resorts. It's hotel soap. I will pick up hotel soap if I see it cheap all day long. So sold six of them for $14. I paid $1.50. They are over a $10 profit and they sold in under a month. Next, I sold three of these little cups and saucers for $8.85. These are temperware by percussion. Not something I would have picked up by itself. It was in an auction lot. So I listed it happy. Uh, it was under a dollar in. So it's about a $6 profit, but happy to see them go. I still have three left. So if you like these, there are three more. Next is this really cool Tenala bowl. So this is not Ken Edwards. This one is actually by Kat, who is another artist. It is signed Kat Tenala, Mexico. This one I picked up for $5 at the flea market when I was out with George the Antique Nomad. It sold for $17.54. So it's about a $10 profit and it sold in under a month. And then I sold these two gun magazines for $6.48 pennies into these I got a whole box of magazines and if they were the same magazine I lotted them up this one I just had the two so I put the two together they did take about eight months to sell so they did take a while to sell but they're about a five dollar profit next and this buyer has good taste i love both of these that this buyer bought so the sale was a total of 38 48 plus shipping i believe this one was about 20 really pretty mid-century modern daisy little sugar or jam jar with the original spoon this took about five months to sell i was really surprised because it is so cute i i was shocked that it took that long and then this is a really cool glass beaded bowl this one so the daisy one i paid a dollar at the flea market this one i did pay five but it sold for 17. so together they're about a 25 dollars profit and i am happy the buyer i love i love these are two of my favorite pieces that i've found next is a vintage night gown slash robe the brand on this one is vasaret made in the USA. I paid a dollar and this one's over $25.99 in under two months. So keep your eye out for the vintage nightgowns and robes. They can be a really good profit and I find them for a dollar all the time at the thrift store. So that, that might be something else I can do one of my uh, research videos on is vintage nightgowns because you would be amazed at what some of those sell for. Next are these loudmouth shorts. Can you tell why the brand is loudmouth? They're really loud. <laughs> this is what you need to look for here on these these are golf shorts paid less than 50 cents these sold for 25 dollars plus the buyer paid seven in shipping so these are over a 20 dollar profit they did take about eight months to sell because i priced them high but i knew i could get it i sold some loudmouth shirts for 40 and 50 dollars i got a whole bunch of them 
from an online estate auction. So keep your eye out for loudmouth golf clothes, both women's and men's. Those were women's that I sold, but they can sell very, very high. Next is something that always surprises me when it sells, this little cute Christmas wreath. Again, in a box lot from an online auction. This one, and then somebody was doing Christmas shopping. I love this one with the holly berries and the bronze the little candlestick. So the two of these sold for $28 to the same buyer. So we've got a couple of combined orders, which is awesome. I love when people buy more than one thing, make shipping a little bit easier. Up next is this little piece on earth ornament. Three years, I had this for three years. <laughs> sold for $4.76. I was just happy I could find it because I didn't have it labeled because three years ago, only had a couple hundred things in my store and didn't think I needed to put where they are. So take that as a lesson for me if you are new and starting. Start labeling your stuff now because when you get too much it makes it really hard to remember where everything is. Up last on eBay but don't go anywhere because there are some amazing Poshmark, Facebook, and Etsy sales. Don't, don't go anywhere. This camel, this is a little ornament. I got this at George the Antique Nomads estate sale for $1. It sold for $11.50. I love picking up little vintage ornaments. This one sold in under a month. So the last one was a bad example and obviously they can take a while to sell but I've had really good experiences with selling little ornaments for 10 bucks and they're small and they don't take up a lot of room so I love finding lots of those as well. I want to show you guys. Did you see my ring? I got 50 sterling rings. This is one of them. I decided to keep it. This one will not be for sale. Um, 50 sterling rings from an online high bid auction that I'll be putting up and there's some amazing rings. So if you're looking for a new ring, there are sizes from I think six up to 10. So keeping this one, but there are a bunch more. And sterling brace. It was an amazing auction lot that took two months to get to me. So I looked through that this morning and was just amazed that the pieces that are in there. So watch for my upcoming listings because there are going to be some good jewelry items. Mom. Dalton is lounging back there if you see. You want to say hello? He says hi. All right, let's look at what's sold on the other platforms. All right, over on Facebook... I sold this Harley Polo. I paid a dollar at the thrift store and it sold for 15 on Facebook Marketplace. And also on Facebook, we sold this number one Harley pin for $9. We sold this cool Harley pin with the wings and the spokes for $9. Mommy, I love you. I love you too. You love the people? You love them a lot? Oh, no, just, a just a little bit. Do you love me a lot? No, just a little bit. Too. Just a little bit too. Okay, so the people rank even with mommy. All right, up next, this really cool flow blue little saucer. Four and a half inches. This sold on Facebook Marketplace for $32. I paid less than a dollar and it is over a $25 profit. And then this book I also got actually at the same place I got that flow blue for for a couple of dollars. This one sold for $19 so it's about a $15 profit over on Facebook. And then this HD12. This is a Harley Davidson firefighter badge. This one sold for $26 over on Poshmark. So now Posh is coming in with the Harley Davidson pins. This one also sold on Posh for $16, a hundred year anniversary pin. And then this Brooks Brothers sold on Poshmark. This is a nice little polo. Picked it up for a dollar at the thrift store. This one sold for $14 over on Poshmark. So it's about a $10 profit. And then, so that is it for Posh and Facebook. We have two Etsy sales and they're pretty, pretty good. This Namaji vase, which if you're not familiar with Namaji, it's a bread and butter, but some, if you get some crazy color 
vases they can sell for hundreds so they are all stamped and marked the maji pottery usa so this sold for 40 over on etsy and i paid five so it's about a 32 dollar profit this one really caught me off guard i paid 15 dollars for this at the thrift store this is a mercedes benz there's the tag a mercedes benz polo and this one sold on etsy for 44 dollars so about a 25 dollar profit after fees and it sold in less than a week after my mom cross posted it so all together about fifteen hundred dollars in sales going out which is amazing we pulled ourselves back up to our twenty five hundred dollar week average i am finally feeling back to normal so i am getting drafts pushed out i am listing myself for the first time in three weeks which is nice i missed it and i'm going to be doing some more today plus mom is cross posting so we've got all of these factors going in and sales are going up so if your sales are down keep listing list 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 cross post list perfectly i pay 69 a month but you just saw over 300 dollars in sales from one weekend so it is very very well worth the investment in my opinion if you want to try list perfectly it's listperfectly.com my code is the nurse flipper definitely check it out it is pretty easy to use i do have a couple of tutorial videos if you need help and do not forget tomorrow night myself and julian will be joined by my bff dale flippin fiasco you might have seen her in some of my videos i did from up in pennsylvania as well as steve from rake and profit and i am super excited about that show so set the reminders it is already scheduled and i will see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m eastern standard time hope you had a great weekend hope you had great sales if you didn't keep listing you got you got a list 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 and the sales will come bye guys What are we doing now, ma'am?